Hello everyone, Carolina Venom here. Today I'm doing a couple of Blackberry reviews, uh, old school Blackberries, uh, Blackberry Curve 8530 and Blackberry Tour 9630, both on Sprint. Um, actually using this Blackberry right now because my Android phone, uh, the earpiece went out, so I'm waiting for my next upgrade. So it's good to have phones um, for backup. But there's some good and bad about each of these Blackberries. Um, I know that you can still buy these pre -owned, I think pre-owned uh, on Sprint.com, I think. Um, and uh, they're both really not that bad. I'm not a Blackberry fan that much. Um, they're not bad phones, but I, I prefer you know iOS, iPhone, or Android over a Blackberry. Uh, there's just a couple of things that I like about these phones. Um, mainly one is battery life. Um, uh, I can get a lot more battery life out of these two phones than I have any Android phone I've ever had. Um, both of them are pretty nice screens. Um, I'm not sure the sizes of the screens or anything. Um, but both of them are they're about the same size. And, uh, you know, this one's got a, this one's got a, um, a trackpad. Well, this has got the old trackball, and I like the trackpad a whole lot better than I do the trackball. Um, also, um, I don't know why my I don't know why my key ain't, ain't lighting up, but I kind of like the way these keys are laid out. They're kind of small, um, as you can see. They're I mean they're one of the best Blackberries that I heard back in the day for the keyboard, but to me, they're just too small. When you got fat thumbs. You know, it's, it's very easy to get the wrong key. Now, this, these over here, or if you could, if you can see them, they're a little bit bigger and they're easier to type on, in my opinion. Uh, these keys kind of move a little bit; they're kind of wobbly. I don't know why they ain't like these and steel, but anyway, um, call quality to me is better on the tour. It's clear. Uh, Speaker phone's clear. Um, it's a louder phone, the speaker for ringtones and all is louder than the Blackberry Tour. Um, the Blackberry Curve, um, the speaker, uh, is on top here. And on this Blackberry, the speaker is here on the side. Um, so if you get the phone laying, the curve laying down flat on a hard surface, a lot of times the ringtones will advance more and it makes it sound louder than it really is. Um, but as far as um, ringers and stuff like that, the BlackBerry Tour is louder. Um, I got, like I said, call quality is a little more muffled on the curve, but to me they're pretty clear on the BlackBerry Tour. Now I've had Verizon before I got Sprint, and I bought the Tour on Verizon, and the Verizon Tour was not as good as the Sprint Tour. Um, the calls were were more muffled. Um, People couldn't hear me that good. They said I sounded really muffled. The call quality wasn't that good. I don't know what the difference was. I mean, they're both BlackBerry tours, but for some reason, Sprint and Verizon was different or something. I don't know. But I know that, that, that this one's got really good call quality, really good speakerphone quality. Uh, battery life on these phones. Um, I've had this phone for a long time, and I, I didn't use it for a long period of time, so it kind of messed, it kind of killed the battery a little bit, but... This this battery this phone right here the battery lasts longer. I can get usually two, two and a half days on battery life. I can usually get about a day, day and a half on the tour. Probably because the battery is getting weaker, but I would say all around probably if they were both brand new batteries. They probably get about the same battery life. I would expect the, the curve to get maybe a little bit better battery life. Both of them have icon um, lights for notifications. For your email, Facebook, phone calls, messages, all that good stuff. Um, like I said, they're both running. They're both running Black, Blackberry Five. Um, you know, this one right here's got. A, I think it's got a two megapixel camera, no flash. Um, video quality ain't that good. This one here's got a, got a flash and a pretty pretty good flash at that. Got a three point two megapixel camera and a. Uh, and a fairly good video. It's not a video that you want to, you know, show off on YouTube, nothing like that. But it's not bad for um, an old cell phone camera. This one's a little bit smaller, a little bit thinner. 
than the blackberry tour um i'm not going to get into a lot of specifics with it because like i said this is, it, it, these are old phones i really not use them in a long time and i'm just really using them right now for like a spare until i can upgrade but i i like them both i think i like this one better because this one has got this one got wi-fi uh this one this one does not if this one here had wi-fi it would be it would be my main choice of a phone over the curve but since this one's got wi-fi and sprint's 3g service is just not that fast um you know it's nice to have a phone you know i mean that has wi-fi um but as far like i said as far as is as, as a phone in general uh i would i definitely would prefer the blackberry tour uh but i make a lot of errors and in the keyboard um but most blackberries are the same i mean they all got the same setup trackpad is very responsive on these things i mean they work it works really well uh absolutely no problems at all with the trackpad on this thing um trackball i heard a lot of people with the trackball with the tour had problems but me personally i don't really have that many problems with trackball it does kind of stick sometimes but it's not that bad um I know people really don't use these phones anymore much. I mean, I'm sure there are some that still do. Um, I personally prefer, like I said, an Android or an iPhone. But these phones here ain't too bad. If you you know, want to send a, in the, the occasional email, want to send a text, an occasional text message, make phone calls. You know, these are really good phones. Um, reception, I find to be better on the tour than the curve. I find um in certain low um low service areas that the blackberry has a lot more trouble connecting holding on to a phone call than the tour does uh the tour just looks like more more of a professional type phone than the curve this is also an international phone got an international it's got a sim card in it for international usage uh this one does not so like i said if you, you know it's hard for me to decide on a winner of uh, these old blackberries um if this one had wi-fi and a trackpad this one probably would be dominant uh but i like the, the curve because it's smaller it's a little more thin um i find it to be better battery life um more responsive because it is a newer phone than the tour but um anyway like i said this is this is just the old i've seen these two sitting around i'm using this one here i thought well I'll do a BlackBerry a BlackBerry review of some old ones. I know they got the BlackBerry 10 out and all that stuff. And these right here are really just kind of throwaway phones, I guess you can say now. But I know there are people that still use these phones. And both of them are good. Like I said, both of them are nice phones. They charge very fast. They can be dead. And they can charge in no time. Uh, like I said, the battery lasts in a couple of days. You know, so I mean, it's not bad. Depending on how much you use it um of course stuff like facebook and twitter and you know stuff like that in the app store is nowhere near as good as the as the, as the iphone or an android but you know it gets the job done you know if you like if you get on facebook stuff like that the only thing i hate about these phones right here is it does not come with a youtube app which is kind of stupid but you know hey whatever but anyway i'm gonna quit rambling now uh look at the blackberries um if you ever need a spare phone and you want to go with blackberry you know both of them are good phones but you know i they're just to me they're getting old they're getting out of date and you know it's just i think before long blackberry will be obsolete compared to ios and android so uh, anyway i'm gonna go ahead and go y'all have a good one and we'll talk to you later